Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I'm going to be looking at Light No Fire's trailer once more, but today I've got an objective. I want to look at Light No Fire's trailer to see what might be super formula and what might be what I would call hyper formula. Now, hyper formula is something that Hello Games has placed into the game purposely to sort of drive up a bit of hype, perhaps. And Super Formula is what's been done through Supermap, and maybe their, their actual engine working on a high-end PC. And both of these things, the Super Formula and also the Hyper Formula, both have got chances of making it into game. And both of these things, both heavily featured in the early trailers of No Man's Sky, before it got released. And I want to look at some of those early trailers of No Man's Sky, and what Hello Games has said when it comes to Super Formula and what is actually delivered into game. So I'm gonna look at two trailers from early days of No Man's Sky, and then we're gonna look at the Light No Fire trailer. And we're gonna look at it with a little bit more of a magnifying glass, people inside the viewer verse. So hopefully you're up for that. Okay, get yourself locked in and get yourself ready, and let's get into this. Coolio. Well, righto, chums. Well, let's try this on the original E3 trailer, shall we? Okay, so you've got all these little particles flying around, all these sort of like little mini particle effects. We don't got that really, so I'm going to say Piper Formula. These wavy davy trees and every tree looking different with all this foliage on and vines and everything. Super Formula. These butterflies flying around, though, these jazzy butterflies that look very Earth like. Not in game, not even now, not really. I mean, we've got something similar, but they're more alien. So I'm going to say Hyper Formula. Right, heading down to the actual waters. We've got these giant majestic diplos with all turny heads that look organic and alive, and they're wading in water. Hyper Formula. I mean, Hello Games did admit that they tried to make it look like some concept art, so yeah, they kind of came clean on that one in the end. They're still not in game as majestic and as awesome as this, people. Right, oh, so heading around. I mean, a lot of this is in game, a lot of this is canon, a lot of this isn't super formula or hyper formula. Those sentinel ships flying over doing a flyby, hyper formula. We do get ships doing flybys, but not sentinel patrols. We've got this rhino smashing down the trees, and all the trees are freaking moving, all the creatures scupper. Oh my god, and it roars. Hyper Formula! Okay, well, I think you get kind of the general gist. Is there any more to this? Is there any more hyper formulas inside? I think there actually is. But I think you get the idea, people. I mean, as they fly up to this station, if I remember rightly, there's actually a freighter that's flying past it or moving. Maybe it's not this trailer. Maybe it's another one that I'm thinking of. But yeah, anyways, I'll move on to the next one because that's kind of what we're going to be doing this episode, people. So the next trailer I want to look at is the No Man's Sky announcement trailer, because this one's more similar to the Light No Fire trailer. So let's make this a lot larger on the screen. Let's make sure that it's dialed up to the nines on um, our settings. Let's make sure it says highest call. Oh, 720p. <laughs> that goes to show how old this is. Okay, right, here we are then, people. Right, okay, crash ship underwater that was not there at the start. And a shark-type creature. Hyper Formula! Yes, okay, cool, yeah. All this sort of movement going on. I mean, we do get that movement now. We didn't right at the start. But look at these trees. The trees, okay? They're all swaying and they're all different. I'm going to say Super Formula on that. And look, this tree is even... Look, there's leaves falling off the tree. There's leaves falling off the tree. I'm still going to say Super Formula, because I think it can be delivered with math. Where they say every tree procedural. Oh look, all this sort of reflections going on in the water. We don't even got that now. I'm going to say Super Formula yet again. I think all this is Super Formula so far, with a little smidge of hype. You see how volumetric these clouds are that we're flying through right now. Again, are there, there's sort of the freighters moving around. That, that, I think, is hyper formula. The clouds itself, super formula. Oh my days. <clears throat> there's so much going on. Super formulas and hyper formulas everywhere. But yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is the, this is the original, let the, hyper formula, this is hyper formula. They just threw in a sandworm knowing that they weren't going to bring it to real gamey world. And all the flags moving in the wind there. And a dune planet, that's, Baked in hyper formula, massive hyper formula there. 
Yeah, it's a lot of hype, but a lot of super formula too. So, I want to show you what I mean by super formula, just to give you a bit more of a gist. Okay, so this is Grant Duncan at GDC 2015, and he talks about that sort of element where you see the Diplos wading in the water. So have a quick listen to what he says. So, um, what we wanted to do was create a few key concepts that would capture the vibe of this lost world, this no man's sky. And like, if anyone's seen the, the video we released years ago now, the uh, E3 video where you walk down to the watering hole and the antelope run away, this was the piece of key art that kind of influenced that. Okay. It's a real quick sketch. So that was the key art that influenced that. So they made the game trailer look like that concept art. Okay, so that's some evidence there that they they tailored the trailer to look a certain way. It, it you don't find planets like that. They made a planet like that. Okay, so this is where they're talking about the blueprint system. So it's not quite super formula. Super formula morphs things and changes things shapes, but it distorts the wireframe. So in those trailers, all of the trees looked different. All of the trees felt organic and they had movement where they moved. So they were using mesh wireframe distortion to achieve that effect. I don't believe they do that inside of No Man's Sky or not to the same level as what they're talking about here. So this is why those planets looked very organic and very awesome. So let's hit play. It's on the internet because it's just this magic button that you click and then artwork pops out. But that's, and I imagine some people do that, but that's not how we do it. We, it's still incredibly artistic driven and it's, it's your procedural artworks only as good as the base template that we create. I'm going to talk about that. So this is a tree trunk and this is the blueprint system. It adds a type of branch. It then adds a type of leaf. It then selects a bark type and a leaf type cool. and it is then decorated to match the environment and it is then skewed. skewed to be different. And then we can see it for a different version where we take the same trunk, a different set of branches is selected, different leaves, different texture, and different shapes. And essentially every single prop in the game is created like this and what you so when they create a forest all the trees would look like this then they would use a deform methodology to make them look all like this like all wavy davy and bent and every single one would have its own different deformation some of that might be scaled to a certain degree so some trees are bigger than others some have got more bends than others hence why every single tree inside of those trailers looked different now I think we've got enough I think we've got enough there to understand what is super formula what can be done with the map like all this great lovely stuff and what is done for sheer effect, like that watering hole, like the key concept art that Hello Games have used as hyper formula. That stuff that they've put in the game, because, well, inside the trailer, to get people to buy it through hype. That's to hype people up. So now let's look at the Light No Fire trailer and see if we can use some of the techniques that we've used in the previous trailers and learn from Hello Games' own mouth what might be super formula and what might be hyper formula. Okay, people, so I might be pausing this quite often and say what I think and why I think it. So these clouds, these volumetric clouds, we've seen those inside of the two previous trailers. The clouds that we have in No Man's Sky now look nothing like the clouds that we're seeing here. Honestly, think this is super formula mixed with a bit of hyper formula. The distance drawn, all that sort of good stuff, hopefully that's going to be achievable, but I think this is a very high-end PC. I think we're going to see a lot more popping when it comes to next-gen consoles. But anyway, let's hit play. Let's go for this, people inside the view of us. So, yep, yeah, okay, so you can see all these trees moving in the same ways as they did in the previous trailers. And you've got to think they're using the exact same game engine, 
are we going to be seeing the same thing happen you can see all these little particles like little mini fireflies flying around the whole time as well we saw those in the original no man's sky trailers we still get to see some of that happening inside of no man's sky but not to the extent of this this is freaking insane amounts so I think this is super formula, but I also think it's overly hyped. I honestly don't think we're going to see so much movement when it comes to the grass or the trees. Perhaps the grass in, in places, but the trees, not so much. I don't think we're going to see much of that wavy-davy organic life going on. I hope I'm wrong. But we saw all this in the original No Man's Sky trailers. It's now eight years on, or ten, however you want to count it. And we still don't have that in No Man's Sky now. I mean, if we could have it in No Man's Sky now, why isn't it in No Man's Sky now? Hokey pokey, dilly dokey. I mean, you've got all this sort of other stuff going on there. I think that's all achievable. Everything we're seeing here, I think, is achievable. But all these particles under the water, again, all these sort of like little bubbles and stuff like that. Are we going to see those? I'm not too sure. We also saw a giant octopus in the background there. Remember, we saw a giant shark in the original trailers. You remember that galleon? That galleon under the water where we saw a crashed ship inside of the other one, didn't we? The other trailer. So who knows there, people, you know? Now, as it pans around here, this guy slapping down this tree, it looks like there's arrows sticking out of the tree here. If not, it could just be crazy foliage or growth going up this tree, but it almost looks like arrows are said to be persistent here, or they look like arrows to me. But I'm wondering whether that might be a little touch of hyper formula, especially with the guy cutting down the tree right now. It, mm, I don't know. There's something quite not quite right about this. It all looks too good to be true. If it is, if this is what we're going to get at launch, if this is the game that we're going to be playing, I'm going to be freaking blown away. Now, these rock formations on top of the hill here, this rock is identical to that rock. You can see it's got the same sort of groove and perhaps even this one. That rock, that rock and that rock are all the same rock. I don't think that they're using the super formula to deform every single wireframe inside of this. So I don't think they're showing off the super formula per se when it comes to a lot of the rockage. A lot of it is repeated. But you see this tree here, how it hasn't got hardly any foliage on it. These are all fully flocked out. Apart from that one, look, it's moving, it's lost a bit up there. These do look like they're using Super Formula. So I'm seeing conflictions here. I'm seeing some rocks that look identical, copy and paste jobs. And then I'm seeing some, I'm, I'm not seeing that with the trees. So it looks like they've been quite selective in what they've put Super Maths and Super Formula perhaps on inside of this trailer and what they haven't. And this actual log is actually cut into a quarter. I, I, are we going to see that in game? Are we going to be able to carry logs on our shoulders like that? Or is it just going to disappear into our backpack? That has to be seen, I think, people. But I think some of this is hyper formula. I think some of this is more conceptual sort of shenanigans going on. A bit like what they did with the E3 trailer. Let's just skip that back a bit. So here we go. We've got this lovely, lovely reflection in the water there of this island over in the background. We saw that in the, the original announcement sort of trailer for No Man's Sky. I'm going to say Hyper Formula. Actually, I didn't say Super Formula before. It's a bit of both. It's a bit of Super Formula, a bit of Hyper Formula. It's a bit of both, that, isn't it, really? Because I honestly don't think we're going to see that level of um, reflections in our water. And again, we've got all these little particles flying around like little fireflies all the time. We only get those around lampposts really in certain flora in No Man's Sky right now. But yeah, there's quite a lot of sort of fighting and shenanigans going on there, which I think is, is quite achievable. Now, the way this dragon turns and looks at us as we're going to mount it reminds me of Falcor in the never-ending story and I think Hello Games might have made that animation so it turns and looks at you as you're about to get in it I don't know whether they're going to have that level of believability and organicness to it believability and livability a little bit like you know with the Diplos how they were all sort of moving their heads around and looking around and stuff like that I think they've done that on here to sort of pull on our sort of nostalgia strings. Remember berries for, um, you know, 
the whole never-ending story thing. And thank you very much there, beautiful muse, for subscribing. I did see that, heck yes. So I think there's a little bit of that going on. Now, I did point out that those look scripted, how they take off into the sky. So I did another video on do you think this is scripted? And a lot of people were looking at it as if I meant just all the pathing. I mean this. I mean have Hello Games heavily baked into this trailer a load of super formula which might not make it into game and have they baked in a load of hyper formula into this and baked it into the game. Every time I watch this trailer though I am what I am spotting something new. It's like it's called light no fire. Well when you have light without fire it's almost like magic in a roundabout way. So they're just trying to use another word for energy and magic and if they are I'm seeing a lot of this green and blue light. It's like when you see the skeletons walking around, they've got this blue light on them. When you see this structure here, it's got this weird green light about it. When they go into, oh, this area here, you've got this guy, and look, he's actually lighting up the ground as he walks, and he's all lit up blue as well. And this giant here lights up blue as well. Is anything that lights up in this weird greeny blue hue the light that has no fire? No, oh, just putting it out there. But anyway, all this sort of stuff. I mean, this giant golem coming to life and moving in this such a way almost reminds me of Jason and the Argonauts. A little bit like the dragon, how it turns its head and it's a little bit sort of, you know, never-ending story. That felt very sort of Jason and the Argonauts. Is it going to be in-game? I mean, Hello Games could do what they did with No Man's Sky and say, well, it's such a big planet. The chances of you coming across that on day one is like, it's not going to happen. We're going to have people on this planet, people. And they're going to be finding that area and going, where's that golem? I can see it now. <laughs> yeah, this, this chamber's really cool. I love all the leaves falling down. Now, I have noticed that the leaves, when they hit the floor, they don't settle. They just pass through the floor. So they're not actually sitting down like here and becoming persistent entities inside the verse. They're a particle emitter, people. So I wouldn't get yourselves too excited about that one. I don't think people would anyway. But just putting it out there that it's quite a well-known technique, that one inside of game making. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that I think is over hyper exaggerated. I mean, this volumetric clouds, is it going to look this nice? Is it going to be so never ending story as the Falcor flies through the clouds? Again, I kind of think that they've gone to town with this in never ending story type vibes. They did say that they wanted to bring in some of that sort of you know, what we grew up on in the fantasy style. -y. So, you know, maybe there's a bit of that going on. Maybe they've used that as reference. Maybe they're using that as a nostalgia draw. I don't really know people inside the view of us. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got for you on this. Super Formula and Hyper Formula, I think, have been baked into this trailer. So when I was saying it was scripted, this is kind of what I mean. Hello Games has heavily loaded this with Super Formula and Hyper Formula sort of promise people inside the view of us. So anyway, I'm going to be ending off. I need to go and make myself a cup of tea now. And I need to go and edit this and put in some text. It's hyper formula, super formula. So that's all the aftery bits that I'm doing. But anyway, if you think I've missed anything when it comes to hyper formula and super formula, sound up in the comments. Let us know what you spotted that I didn't with my eye peepers. I mean, I did go off on a tangent about the name of the game. Light no fire. Could it be light that has no fire? Magic. Heck yeah, so anyway, there's a bit to dwell on there, isn't it? I hope this was a thought-provoking video and a bit of fun. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.